your girl miss lee here thank you for clicking watch on this video welcome to my channel good morning good afternoon or good night depending on where you are if it's your first time here or you haven't done so already please please subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up and the notification so that you are aware every time i drop new content also do not forget you can stay connected with me by following me on the gram the name is across the screen let's get into it so guys six months tummy tuck review which is a lot of people like oh i can't wait to hear this review i want to see your results because you guys have been with me on the journey from day one i've posted i've shown you guys so here goes guys, before i go any further right i know i shouldn't be like this I'm trying to really like, I'm a mum and I know what it's like, but sometimes, like I've noticed, sometimes I'll watch my videos and I'll hear like kids in the background, which is most of the time, a lot of the time it's mine because you could tell, but a lot of the time like this, that's not coming from my house. She gonna stop? She gonna stop? It's the little girl next door. And I'm like, she doesn't even live in my house. My kids are at school. My house should be silent. Enough for me to do a video that's clear and you guys can hear. But the little girl next door, she constantly, she's loud, she screams, she's everything. Now, as I said, I'm a mom and I know how kids can be, but oh, really? Anyway, okay, six months post-op. I have reached the six month milestone. Um, how do I feel and do I have any regrets is um, a few questions I have been asked. Stay tuned, I will answer those questions as the video goes on. As I... Someone asked me the other day, like, why is my video looking so dark? Like, what the f is going on? Guys, I don't know what's going on with the light in here, but my video is looking really dark, but hey ho, that's just life. Anyway, someone asked me the other day um, whether I'm still in any pain or not, and I was like, do you know what? This is a little bit like childbirth. I'm like, kind of putting it down to like childbirth because I can't remember it. I don't believe it's really excruciating pain. Like... Um, I can't remember the pain. Don't get me wrong, there's been times I'm like, oh, my belly kind of hurts me a little bit, but nothing that stops me from doing what I'm doing and nothing that makes me keel over with so much excruciating pain, no. So the pain levels are quite minimum, in my experience. I've seen some reviews and some women are like, oh my God, the pain, you can't do nothing, you can't move, da 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 da, -da. I didn't really have that same experience i mean honestly there was a point and i was thinking did my man even do anything because i ain't feeling the same way that certain people have said they felt after surgery i haven't but i didn't <laughs> so yeah pain threshold is quite minimum for me i mean it depends if you have a high pain tolerance but yeah for me I started working out. I tried to work out four weeks after and I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, honey, uh-uh. It wasn't really painful, it was just a bit uncomfortable. And I'm... Hello? Are you coming to put up my table and chairs with mum? Love, call me now. I can't remember what the f I was saying now. Like, if they can't get me on the mobile, they're calling the house phone. Like, they're calling... Who even still has a house phone? I may even, like, disconnect it. We don't need a house phone. Like, literally... My house phone rings, like, I know it's like four people out of everybody I know in my life. No one calls the house phone, no one. Anyway, um, I don't even know what I was saying. I out about four weeks after surgery, and I was like, no, 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 no. When I say I started, I tried. And I was like, hell no, mm -mm -mm, this, mm -mm -mm. it's just because it felt a little bit uncomfortable, and I was a bit scared, you know, I hope I don't do any damage. So um, six weeks, I started doing, you know, light workouts. Um, and I have been working out ever since. The amazing thing is like my stomach, I've said this again in another video, my stomach now has movement. It's not so tight. It's not so, she's had a tummy tuck looking. Cause you know, some tummy tucks, you could tell someone's had a tummy tuck because it just looks so fake. It just, their stomach just looks so, yeah. And it doesn't look like that. I can feel my tummy muscles as well. Again, there was a time when I was thinking, has this guy done anything with regards to my tummy muscles? Because you know i'm still bloated the, you know the swelling is there i can't see anything 
But I will say this, actually, um, with regards to swelling and being bloated. When I take off my garments, my compression garments, I still feel the the um the swelling and the bot at the bottom of my stomach and it still swells it, it, that still happens i'm six months post op and it still happens i have read some other reviews and seen some comments from doctors and it's quite normal um the real you know healing time for tummy tucks they say is 12 months so you know i'm halfway and I'm expecting not to have that after 12 months. I'm hoping that it's sooner, but you know, definitely after 12 months. Still having my massages, guys. I'm doing it once every other week now. Um, I love the wood thera woodwork therapy massage. I keep saying I'm gonna film it and do a review on it. I will, because I think it's amazing. It's really good for contouring. And yeah, still having my lymphatic massages. Love every moment of it. And I do believe that helps with the swelling when you take off the, when I take off the compression garment, that that is helping. Another question, as I said, they, most tummy tucks, if not all, they do repair your tummy muscles. So yeah, I can feel that now. And when I work out, I can actually see like the, the, the definition in my stomach. It looks amazing. Oh my God. Haven't seen that since before I had kids. So yeah, that that's amazing, honestly. I'm still wearing my Faha. I wear my Faha at night, not every night, but most nights for the week, I wear my Faha. Um, it's easier to wear it at night than you haven't got to think about it in the day. Because I, unlike some people, I really find it uncomfortable wearing all of that. I like to wear fitted clothes. So wearing that on top of wearing something fitted, yeah, I, I just, yeah. So I try and wear it a few, most, you know, if, all right, say there's seven days in the week, I'll try and wear it at least four nights out of the seven. So... Yeah, but I do wear my waist trainer every day. Um, I do usually wear it under a top and I put the waist trainer over it, usually because the waist trainer, you leave, they, it leaves an indentation from the, like the bowing in the, in the waist trainer. So guys, scarring. Scarring is a thing. Scarring is real. I'm on my journey with scarring. I was recommended to this scar tape. I think I'm going to do another video just for scarring. I know you guys are like, mm, another video? How many videos is this girl going to do? Yeah. We're going to do our next video about scarring. Now what? So I was using scar tape and I didn't find that did anything. In fact, I felt it kind of made my keloid. I have a keloid. I knew I would have a keloid from when I actually got a chance to look at the incision. Um, and I kind of felt the scar tape did nothing for it. If anything, it kind of made it protrude a bit, grow a little bit, I felt, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna do another video about that. I'm starting to use a scar cream, so I will let you guys know. But when you look at my tummy in a minute, when I show you, you will see that the scar is still quite dark. However, I was told that the scar would drop and it has, it has dropped. It's now like, um, definitely under my panty line, like I can wear my thong or my knickers and you know, it's, it's not seen. I did say in another video that one side of, of my body, the scar was higher than the other. That's kind of now evening out a little bit. It's still a little bit higher, but it's more even. Again, you'll see it in a minute when I show you my results. Now, do I have any regrets? I don't have any regrets to having the surgery, but I'm really upset guys because um, I have excess skin. So, you know, we have to bear in mind that surgeons can only do what they can. And I think they make that judgment call when you're on the table and they're doing their work. However, my surgeon, I don't feel, well, not even I don't think he didn't, he didn't take off enough skin. He took off a lot. He took off a lot, right? Let me tell you this. I had a tummy piercing, okay? You can see where the incision was, where I had the piercing. The other day I was like um, showering or whatever and I was looking down, because obviously when the swelling goes down as well, you do get to kind of see it differently. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. But anyway, I was looking down and I was like, what is that extra piece of skin? Oh my God, it's my piercing. <laughs> right on like near the, the incision line. So yeah, he definitely took off a lot of skin, but yeah, just not enough. Now, this is when you know you kind of gone with a decent company. I brought it to their attention, um, 
and they showed the doctor and they were like, we'll correct it for you. Yeah, that was like music to my ears. Now, I'm gonna show you the excess skin. They did try it a little bit. They were like, oh, doctor says maybe you lost weight. Uh-uh, honey, I didn't lose that much weight. Uh-uh, I haven't lost no weight because your girl been eating, you know, lockdown comforts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, now I'm toying with the idea whether I should actually have this correction surgery simply because I have, I'm now six months post-op, I'm over it to then go and have another operation and then start the healing process. It's just long. The fuck? Anyway, they were like, did I lose any weight? And I was like, not that much, honey. Mm. And yeah, they've offered to correct it. As I said, I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to do the downtime again. Now downtime, um, it's initially first two weeks. I did take advantage of COVID. You know, I'm always cussing about COVID, but one thing I did take advantage of, COVID allowed me to have a tummy tuck and still continue my nine to five. Like not never up. Mm -hmm. Cause I think I took like, including the weekend i think all in all off work maybe it was like 10 days not if it wasn't even 10 days i took off work but all in all the initial was about 10 days and then um i was able to just like sit on my sofa laptop on my lap and get on with the work no one knew no one knows i've had a tummy tuck in my week off like yeah it was amazing loved it so definitely i took advantage of covid and i've used this time obviously we're not doing anything there's nothing going on the place is still in lockdown here in the uk so i've just used the time to enjoy my healing process were asking me as well where did i get my surgery done who did my surgery guys please check out the video that i previously done i will put it um as a link at the end of this video so you guys can see it like i love commenting and replying to your comments sorry in the comment section but I mean, how many times can I say you've done the surgery? Guys, please check out my video and please don't forget to subscribe as well. Um, what other questions has people asked me? Uh, what other questions has people asked me? How much did it cost? Like I said, guys, in my other video, it cost um, £4,000. My surgery cost me £4,000. That wasn't including flights um, or food in the hotel, but um, my breakfast in the hotel was covered. And my hotel stay was covered within that £4,000, plus the surgery, plus my transfer, plus my transfers. One day I will get through a whole video without getting tongue tied. Mm. Plus my transfers and um the transportation to and from the hospital because i went to the hospital every day even after being discharged to get checked by doctors and stuff like that so it was really great um my the foreground also included my um covid tests it also included my meds it also included my blood, it included everything. The only thing, as I said, it didn't include was my flight there and my lunch and dinner. So yeah, I think that was quite great. Um, I'm gonna show you my, my, my results right now. So this is six months post-op. Now you may say, where's excess skin she talking about? I'm gonna show you in a minute. Slow your roll, I'm gonna show you. I, I can see it, but I'm gonna show you in a moment. This is up and close to the tummy boy. <laughs> so you can still see the stretch marks are still there. And I would never wanna get rid of that because that is my journey. This is my journey through my, that, that proves I gave birth, honey. I carried children and I gave birth. And I love it. I actually think it looks quite sexy because it's natural. Um, and a lot of women have it and yeah it's just life it's just part of your life story so yes yeah. up in my stomach stomach like that because i would really love it to look like this but um that's that's like excessive intense lipo and yeah can you see the definition no when i work out i see this more I absolutely love it. And that's because my tummy muscles are engaging now down here i still have a pouch um, and that's because the swelling, that's where the swelling still is. Um, it's still a little bit numb, but I do have my feeling back there. Now I'm going to show you the scarring. Guys, the scarring is still really dark. Um, 
as you can see it's still really dark and i have keloid i have keloid here this is the only place i've got the keloid um but yeah the scarring is still really dark and i'm working on it guys i'm working on it but yeah um it's not offensive because okay so i've got shorts on so this is my thong this is my thong and as you can see it covers girl put your knickers on properly girl the fuck you doing okay it covers it nicely so if i was you know wearing a bikini or whatever i don't have a problem you know i don't have to have one higher or one lower or anything it covers it nicely and evenly so i'm really happy with that um i'm really happy with oh that. so the excess skin okay so now i've put this back on you can see the excess skin is here and here okay um that's where he hasn't really taken enough off now I, maybe that's what gives me a natural look i really love my my belly button as well my new belly button i love it guys but yeah maybe that's what gives me a natural look but i don't like the muffin top kind of okay i don't have it in the front but definitely on the sides i don't want that muffin top and should i put on any form of weight i don't want that there so that's that's the extra weight. Now I'm standing up normally. I'm not sucking it in. It's no biggie. It's quite natural. Um, but I know it's there and you know it's not what I paid for, honey. So I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. It's not a biggie, as I said. And it could be just how I wear my clothes, because I do wear fitted clothes. Um, so it could just be because of that. Let me sit down and show you the excess skin. So guys, this is the excess skin I'm talking about when I'm sitting down. But again, it's again, it's not offensive. Like I'm not like, oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. It's just life, isn't it? Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have corrective surgery or not. This is my story so far. This is my journey so far. Um, I still have a way to go, but I don't regret it. And I still like my results, even though I have the excess skin. I still like my results. I don't want to be um, having multiple surgeries. I don't want to keep doing that. So if I do this correction and it's still not 100%, I have to learn to live with it. I'm going to go because this little girl be making so much noise, guys. Let me know what you think about my video. Please drop any comments, questions in the comment section below you guys know i will respond to you the regulars here i love to do that um check out my other uh, surgery videos as they probably will answer a lot of your questions but hey you know if you have more or you want to ask the same question drop it girl, girl drop it i'll answer you um we're in lockdown i ain't got nothing else going on right now please do not forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification so that you are aware every time I drop new content and it's coming guys. Okay, until next time, you will see moi soon. Take care, this little girl. I'm so sorry guys. That's how she does. She screams all day. It's not even my child. It's not even in my house, but it sounds like she's in the room. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go. Take care, bye.